Hey, good day and welcome back to the channel and uh, to my new subscribers, thank you very much for subscribing. If this is your first time here, thank you for tuning in. Um, I know I've mentioned to a lot of my longtime subscribers that I was always going to take them down to this um, of a little town called it's spelled B-A-L-M, so it's... <laughs> yeah, words words escape me today. B-A-L-M. So that's what, uh... Bomb? Is that how you would pronounce it? I don't know. So anyways, uh, that's that. I'll take you guys on a little bit of a new adventure today. And see what's up. Um, I hope this guy doesn't pull out in front of me. I give him the old schmidgety. Sorry, mate, I didn't see you, and he's gonna keep rolling anyways. So yeah. So what's today's subject matter? Well, something that all of us bikers um, hear all the time. It's called ATGAT which is an acronym for, as we all know, all the gear, all the time. And why am I bringing that up? Well, last Friday, which I did not record, and it was before I pointed out the um, bonus footage there of the alligator down in the drainage ditch, is, um, how shall I say it in a family-friendly way, there is a paved road that goes about three miles, and it turns into a dirt road for about, I don't know, 100 yards, 200 yards, and I go to this end of this 200 yards because, well, number place, it's a good place to go and um, relieve myself. I am old, I drink a lot of water, I drink a lot of coffee, and seeing where it was Friday, it was my heavy workout day, and you can only hold back the dam so long before you gotta let the pressure out. So, now it was three weeks prior since I went down this road, and it was hard pack. And I mean hard pack, you could spin the tire, and you, nothing, you, you just accelerate like you were on pavement. That's how hard pack this sand was. But we have not had any rain, and therefore that hard pack sand turned into what that we down here in Florida call sugar sand and what is sugar sand all well, sugar sand is just that it is like sugar you sink and you sink fast well I wasn't going fast I was I was first gear just motoring along maybe five six miles an hour and uh, front end started to wash out and I went to dab a foot to keep myself from going over and um, unfortunately I didn't dab my foot quick enough and uh, is what happened is a uh, bike went over and my foot got caught backwards so the top of my foot my instep was on the high spot that was on the crown of the uh, sandy road and the saddlebag drop guard went onto the bottom of my foot and the whole weight of the motorcycle was on the bottom of my foot and my knee and I uh, luckily yeah it was soft and that was the only saving grace and luckily I had on my big magnum boots my magnum work boots I've been wearing these things for the better part of 40 years and I swear by them because they're steel-toed, they, um, they have uh, ankle protection, they have, um, it's very hot on the ankle, you, it's very hard to crush these ankles. And, um, let's just say, if I had anything less on than these boots, I am pretty sure I would have had a broken ankle because when I got home and finally got these boots off 
my ankle swelled immediately and uh, Friday afternoon it was uh, it was ice every hour for 20 minutes until the time I went to bed and then Friday it was uh, I mean Saturday it was the same thing it was ice every every 20 minutes on the hour we got some twists and turns going on here looks like all new construction a new road they got bike lanes in so yeah this is interesting to say the least that road dead ends I don't have to worry about anything going down there all right and I'm gonna go straight through this stop sign but I'm gonna stop believe me I'm gonna stop although I'm going straight so, uh, oh, 45, I don't think he was. My turn. So yeah, like I was saying, I, uh, the whole weight of the bike, what is what is this bike weigh? 750, 800 pounds? I don't know. I forget what the street glide weighs off the top of my head. I know it's a lot. <laughs> but anyways, I digress. So yeah, that's why I wear all the gear all the time when I'm out. And I mean, well... Have I made gas station runs with sneakers on? Yes, I have. I am guilty. So, drawing quarter me for that. I know, shame on me. But anyways, you know, the most I do is the gas station, and that in itself is bad. But, I just kind of want to say this as a PSA that no matter how good you think you are, and I'm, you know, hey, I'm a seasoned rider. I've been riding since I was, oh, jeez, 12, 13? I'm 65 now? Yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been riding a long time. So, I mean, sand, sugar sand is unforgiven. Mud is another one. Mud is unforgiven. I mean, between sugar, sand, and mud, you'll go down faster than the Hindenburg. So that's that on the ATGAT, all the gear, all the time. Different up here. kind of mapped out this route so I end up back at my uh, back at my gas station in Ona and then we got construction of course so ah boy let me throw up this face shield and get my ear some flowing oh by the way it's a beautiful day here 69 degrees there's absolutely little to no humidity and it's our turn to go and I guess we're putting in some new power line poles some big ones So, right, let me close that down. Sorry about the wind noise. So, what else is going on? Ah, content creators. 
you know I follow quite a few content creators and um, I'm not, not I'm not gonna name any but I'm gonna tell you something right now out of the dozen or so YouTube content creators that I follow and watch there I know very exciting life I lead I have to say out of the dozen I want to say at least nine of them have all run out and bought new 2024 Harley Davidsons now mind you most of these guys had and girls had 2022s and 2023s that were brand spanking new I mean I think the the three that I follow that did not run out and buy new Harley Davidsons they don't ride Harleys um, they ride other brands um, one of them rides a um, what do you call it and an adventure bike her name is I will call her out because she's got like a million subscribers but if you're not watching itchy boots I suggest you watch itchy boots this woman Norley Schumacher she has traversed the world off-road yes off-road she has traversed the globe right now she's in Madagascar so she's entertaining to watch but anyhow, I, um, I digress, yeah, I, I, I want to say at least nine out of the dozen of these people that I watch have all run out and bought new motorcycles and, you know, and, and then they do all these heavy modifications to them and I mean, not cheap modifications either, you know, I mean, they're putting big motors in and everything else and I have to ask myself and if any of you guys know or girls know, are they getting a, are they getting a kickback from the motor company? Uh, they getting a kickback from, um, you know, the, the, the people that maybe sponsor them, you know, the, the companies that they use their products, I mean, I, I know myself a while back that Viking Bags contacted me and wanted me to do a review of their bag, but as in true camera fashion, I did this whole thing, and... It never uploaded. Uh, the, the content didn't come out. And I had to email them back and say I, uh, I, I was, you know, couldn't do it. Thanks, but no thanks. Wow, we do have a lot of construction up here. Holy cow. We got bicyclists up here. Let them share the road. Yep, they're going first, so that's good. They can go up there. Man, I haven't seen so much construction in such a short period of time on these back roads. I can't tell you. Seriously. I don't ever remember this much construction back on these back roads. Although um, this is uh, familiar, unfamiliar territory to me. So yeah, if any of you guys know how You get three feet people, you don't get the whole lane Bikers down here are so inconsiderate you get three feet on the side of the road, not the whole lane. So yeah, where was I? Trying to keep this video under 15 minutes. Um, yeah, so if any of you know if these uh, content creators get, you know, free stuff from um, all these companies that they, uh, you know, major engine work, cams and heads and all kinds of other stuff I mean if you know that they um, get um, you know kickbacks let me know <laughs> not that it bothers me but I'm, uh, I'm just curious Ugh. 
Yeah. So that's that. That's about that. I mean... I don't know, um... I don't know. What I do know is that it is a very beautiful day, and, um... my map has stopped mapping <laughs> so I have to find a little spot to pull over and fix my map I think I am going to call this one a video. I've uh, seen enough of this town, B A L M, bomb. That's how I'm calling it. Alrighty. Uh, you folks all take care. Um, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Uh, comment down below. And as other YouTubers say, comment and then comment again and then comment on your comment. I'm ripping off a guy. Coach Bob. Watch him. He's got an awesome channel. Coach Bob 3. He's got a real awesome channel. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Thumbs up. Peace. God bless.